Welcome to this special edition of GSM News. In this video, we will be introducing and summarizing the issue of net neutrality. Currently, the FCC is looking to move forward on removing key portions of the open internet order. From the upcoming decisions and those that have been made earlier this year, a flurry of fear-mongering has been released. It is our hope that this video will help begin clearing the air on a subject that is a concern to Americans on both sides of the political spectrum. Title II, which is commonly mistaken as net neutrality, is an attempt to equalize providers by reducing profitability to all and reclassifying the internet as a communication service instead of an information service. This encourages fewer startup companies entering the market, while empowering larger companies like Comcast, AT&T, or Google, which was legally classified a common carrier due to Google Fiber and Google Projects fee, and beholden to the new classification. The issue is further complicated by the fact that the terms net neutrality and Title II are being used as though they are synonymous by the general media and websites that enjoy your ad revenue when you visit them out of panic. Title II was created in the 1930s to regulate public utilities. The new Open Internet Order, or Net Neutrality, as it is also known, was implemented in 2015 and overruled the existing Open Internet Order at the time. This ruling is what led to the broadband providers falling under the jurisdiction of Title II. Prior to 2015 and the FCC taking complete control over service providers, those providers were covered and watched over by both the Federal Trade Commission, antitrust laws, and the FCC regulations. What this means is, should the FCC proceed to remove service providers from under the abuse of Title II reclassification, they will again be under the dual control of the FCC and FTC. The FCC's decision to bring internet providers under the draconian Title II regulations has affected us in more ways than you can imagine. Title II was designed to control and regulate the old copper wire communication companies. However, due to these regulations, it instead led to the creation of the government-sanctioned monopoly called Ma Bell. This occurred because Title II made it difficult for competitors to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. Title II can potentially impact the infrastructure of smaller ISPs due to higher risk from increased regulations the amount of lines being laid to provide wider access in areas is not feasible for larger companies can be hampered. Finally, the mainstream media has chosen to focus on one small aspect at a time in this complex issue in order to keep you enraged long term. They began this year by saying that taking service providers out from under the umbrella of Title II would suddenly allow them to steal your data and sell it to the highest bidder. And now they are pushing narratives that revolves around data throttling or prioritization. Due to this manufactured outrage, there were continuous calls for buying individual internet history from Republicans out of retribution. Yet, absolutely no one has been able to demonstrate this capability. Now, there are calls for protecting Title II regulations out of fear of protecting data throttling or prioritization. Yet, due to the reclassification of broadband providers as a common carrier service, corporations like AT&T were able to throttle services and Google is able to prioritize their websites such as Amazon due to the absence of antitrust laws being applicable in the US. Prior to 2015 and the implementation of Title II, there were numerous instances where companies were forced to be held accountable for attempting to violate net neutrality principles. With the implementation of Title II, in hopes of preserving net neutrality principles, we have effectively limited the ways to hold corporation giants accountable for these violations, while those same corporations call to keep this classification in place and continue their monopoly over the smaller ISPs or startups who simply can't afford the harsh regulations. Hey guys, it's George here. I usually work behind the scenes as video editor. I actually made the video that you watched just right now. I want to thank you guys for watching our piece about net neutrality. It was a ton of fun to make with uh, FJNN. I um, also want to thank Atronish's Aura for the music used in the intro and the music that's playing right now in the background. 
and we'll have a link in the description to their channel if you want to check out their work. I'd also like to thank the various sources we use for the images, you know, that's how we make the videos. And if you'd like to support this video and see more like it, just please consider becoming a Patreon at the link in the description. Hey, thanks again for watching.